All right. And uh, number two here that I actually just changed because I realized we only talked about this in our live stream and uh, our viewers that watch the podcast um, are different. Normally, you guys are like committed to the long forum podcast, and I love that you are. Um, but uh, but I feel like we need to talk about it again. So um, we got the 11th request for discovery. 11th request for discovery that came in what what was it four days ago five days ago on uh january 9th defendant's 11th supplemental request for discovery it says please take notice that yeah. the undersigned pursuant what you didn't say what case this is for Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, I just assumed since we were talking about that, but you're right. Uh, for the Idaho four case with Brian Koberger, and uh, I'm assuming if you guys listen to us, you know what we're talking about now. But if you're new here, check out some of our content on YouTube. We actually have a playlist on there with all things connected to the Idaho four case, which is our main case right now. We have three or four main ones that we work, but this is probably the main of the main cases. So it's the one um, we're really digging heavy into. Yeah, everything within the area. But uh, so we have here state of Idaho plaintiff verse Brian C. Koberger defendant. Please take notice that the undersigned pursuant to rule 16 of the Idaho criminal rules, the fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth and 14th amendments to the Constitution of the United States and article one in one, two, 13 and 17 of the Constitution of the state of Idaho request discovery and inspection of all materials discoverable by defendant per ICR 16 B1 through eight and the aforementioned constitutional provisions, including but not limited to the following information, evidence and materials outlined in exhibit J. Now, we can't see what exhibit J is. It's all sealed. There is nothing that we can see from it. However, it is very interesting that we have 11 supplemental requests for discovery. I agree. It's insane. Like, really insane. Yeah. I, I'm curious if it has anything to do with the IgG situation, like if Ann Taylor was not satisfied with the portion. But that, that she'd be requesting from the state, not the judge, so I don't really know. Yeah, and that's one of the questions that I had, too, was when we're seeing all these requests for discovery come through, is it something new every time? Right. I, I, well, they're all sealed now. Like we used to be able to actually see what she was requesting, but a while back it stopped. She s seals every single one now. And it makes me curious why. Um, if, if there's anything that has really made me start to question Anne's integrity, which I have not so far, I, I feel like she has a lot of integrity. I feel like she's a really good attorney. Um, but it is her also wanting secrecy around this case. I understand it a bit more for her because of the character assassination going around in the media and stuff, which is why I haven't really looked too much at it. Like I've, I just, I understand like there's been so much of a media circus surrounding Brian Koberg and so much misinformation and anonymous tips and all of this crap, um, that I've, I've understood why she wants everything to be on the down low. But, um, you know, like the Delphi case, those attorneys are literally fighting for public information, for the information to be out there for the public because they know the public's an asset. Um, in this case, she's not. And it makes me question why. Mm, why? Yeah. I don't I don't doubt her integrity. At but all. why doesn't she want information if she knows her client's innocent to be out there? Because uh, she's worried about the defense. I, and this is just me coming up with theories, right? Uh, but I, if I am Brian Cobert and there is police corruption going on here, true, real police corruption, and I'm worried about what they know uh, while I'm trying to create a defense, um, then I wouldn't want them to know the direction that I'm going to take. Therefore, I would keep everything secret so that only when I'm in front of the jury does that information come out. 
I think there's a real possibility around that. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, there's, I haven't looked too much at her, like, you know, for that. Like, that hasn't really made me question it too much. But I do wonder why. And I hope it's for that reason. Yeah. So. I do, too. I do, too. But I'm curious what you guys think. I know a lot of you watched us uh, talk about that 11th motion for discovery on live stream. But anybody who hasn't, let us know what you think. And I want to know how many predict in the comments. How many more? Like, how high is this number going to get? Yeah. Are we going to see like 20? 30 supplement orcos for discovery. It's, like take a wild guess in the comments and let us know what you think that number is going to end up being. Yeah. I'm really curious. Absolutely. Let us know. Should we guess now? No, no, I can't. Okay. You can, I guess 16. Cause six is my lucky number. Hmm. Interesting. I won't guess. Okay. <laughs> but let us know.